and welcome to Gargar Knits. My name's Anita and this is where I share my knitting, sewing and just crafty things that I do. I have been running a giveaway so I have drawn for that and I will show that at the end um, and um, I did a little video. I didn't do it very well because when I held the person's name up you can't see it such is my professional way of filming so I'm really sorry you'll have to just trust me that the person I say is the person that won and then I'll read her comment out um, at the end as well so hopefully she'll get well I will discuss all that at the end um, I noticed when I was playing back the video I'm wearing the same jumper as I wore in that video so there we are I have a few things I wear on my days off and um, obviously this is one of them it's a bit colder now so uh, jumpers it is I hope you've had a nice month. Um, it's been a bit up and down for me because I had to scrap my poor old car. I had my, I had a Vauxhall Corsa that was 20 years old and I'd had it for 13 years, but it gave up the ghost last week. So it was a bit of a panic. I've been having to um, carriage lifts and have get buses home until I've bought a lovely new Suzuki Swift. Well, new to me. Um, so I'm just getting used to that. But it's taken a lot of my money, my savings, so come January I'm going to be very frugal. But I have made an acquisition, a purchase this month, which I shall show you a bit later, because I want to make a nice blanket, a throw for my bed to go with my curtains. And I've got some really nice, uh, I think it's William Morris Strawberry Thief. Um, curtains in the sage green or duck egg blue they're definitely green backed i will show you later i've left the wall upstairs actually so i'll have to bring it down it's a new acrylic wool in wool warehouse and i did try and match the colors but um i put, i looked on my one screen i had some of these curtains and on the other screen the colors because i thought I might be able to match them better. They don't really go, but I'm hoping once I've done the throw, it will look the same. Well, it will. It, I'm, I'm hoping once I've made the throw, it will look similar to the curtains or leaf, but, or at least be coordinating enough that it it will look nice. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll show you that later. I thought I'd just get on and show you how my knitting projects have been getting on. So. First, I shall show you my progress on the Betty and Judy Lodge sweater and oh, I've been really enjoying this. I've got mostly through the um, holly and the berries that you do at the top. So I've just got one more leaf to do. It did take me a little while to get my head around the pattern. There's two charts. And I think they should have put the two charts together. So you've got sort of that side and that side, and then you could just work back and forth. But for some reason, they've put them um, on different charts. And the way I printed it off to save paper, I did uh, double-sided. So I've had to flick from one to the other. And sometimes, am I on the right chart? So just a little bit of uh, brain power was required. And so it's knitted top down and you knit back and forth um, so you're doing knit and purl rows and you do the back part first and then you do the front part which I'm enjoy, uh, enjoying and then once you get so far I'm assuming under the arms you will join in the round so once I get that part I'll be flying along then so I'll have plenty of time to do that. I do hope to wear it several times during December because I've got quite a few Christmassy things on. So I should really get on with that. But I'm taking it in turns and getting doing a little bit of each one. So that's the one I've been working on. And in this bag I have the hat I am working on for my boss who also helped me find, find this car, my new car. So I can't thank him enough. He's a wonderful boss. And for him, I am making the... Uh, 
blue stone, a plaid hat, and it's from Rodeo Knits, but it's uh, Stephen Hicks is the maker. And the pattern is there. I have shown the patterns and the yarns before, so I'm just sort of showing you my progress in this one. I, I will try and link the video that I did, um, give you more details of all the wool and everything in in the description box. So if you want to go back, if you if you desperately want to find the um, what what materials I used, or if you if you like, leave a comment and I can always answer that. So you have to do six inches of um, knit one, pull one rib, and and they are on very small needles. I think it's three point five. So it's taking me quite a while. Um, so I do that in the evening sometimes when I'm watching telly because you could just do a few rows at a time. Um, so I'm slowly getting there. I'm up to about five and a half inches. So I'm nearly there and then I can get on with the fun bit, which is the patterning at the top. So I'm working well on that one. And I'm ruching up my tablecloth. And in this one, Right, this is my cousin's Christmas present. Now, I said last time I wouldn't show it, but I don't think she's watching any of these videos, so I think I'm quite safe to show you. And I have decided to make her a pair of fingerless mitts, and it is a pattern I've used before for myself, and um, it is a free pattern, and it's called The Short and Sweet Fingerless Mitts by Anne Saharkian. And um, it's not a very good picture there because it's in black and white, but I will look at the picture and put it on the screen so you can see it better. And I made myself um, a sort of a pink pair. It was a, it was a patterny pink, um, with quite a light, it was quite a light colour. And I've decided to make Nikki's a bit longer in the arm and use a darker colour. So I'm using this for ply yarn and it was from Shores, and they've now closed down a, a UK shop and it sold all sorts of different things towels, bedding, underwear, and wool. So, um, I bought this. Um, I will have to look up the colorway. Uh, and it was Mariner yarn, and I was going to have a look to see if they actually are doing the wool still online because I have, I know they had their own herds of sheep and things so although the shop shores are shut down maybe the wool is still for sale online I will look that up and if it is I will put I will write it somewhere on the screen um, because it's very affordable and I would like to carry on supporting them because it was really sad when shores shut down um, they had branches in lots of towns all these smaller chains of shops and things seem to be closing or leaving the high street so it was really sad so I would like to support them so I am on my first one it's lovely and soft this wool as well um, and you start at the oops the wrist end first and you do this little bit of pattern it's very simple and then you work your way up and I have just um, done the thumb increases and now I'm just going up the hand it's no good showing myself is it going to show you so they're the thumb increases and I'm just going up to do the hand bit here and the wool is giving a really nice pattern like I say it's lovely and soft so it's a more practical colour because Nikki likes to go out walking and she'll be climbing styles and opening gates and things so I thought that was a more practical colour than a light colour. Just get that needle. Where's he gone? Don't want to, don't want to lose my needles. So hopefully she won't she won't watch this one and know that's what she's getting. I'll probably get her something as well, not just that, but that's what she's asked for, something handmade. 
And my last project is, if you've watched me before, you'll know my favourite baby sock pattern. And they are just called Baby Socks by Kate Atherley. My very tatty pattern. And I love making these. So I'm making the six month size for Jodie's friend's little baby in and here it is the first little Christmas sock it's really cute and um, it is Christmassy but hopefully she won't mind um, her wearing them through into the spring because it's well they're just cute aren't they and as long as they keep her feet warm that's the main thing so I've done one I've yet to cast on the second one and uh, it's just it's lovely isn't it lovely colours? I like that. I like Christmas colours. I like everything about Christmas, really. So that's my progress so far. So it's not too bad because we are only at the end of November and not even the completely at the end. So it'd be the 25th when I, when I upload this. So I did say I would do the draw on the 25th for the giveaway. But um, it seems the comments have died down now, so I um, I put all the comments, I folded all the little bits of paper up and put them in a box and drew one of the names out. And the name that I drew out was Nikki Lloyd 7552. I did try and show you, so I'll try again. And her comment was, she said, Hi Anita, I have just started watching your podcast and I've been enjoying it very much. I have also began watching your previous episodes too. When it comes to you using different words, I still say wool, not yarn, hoover, not vacuum, clean your teeth, not brush your teeth, video when taping a program, Record for CD music, flip-flops, though many call them thongs, the list could go on. I do think that the terminology you grow up with sticks for life and time was much simpler than it is now. What a lovely giveaway that is. Some lucky person is certainly going to get a treat. Keep the podcasting up as I'm really enjoying it. Take care, Nikki. So you are the lucky person, Nikki, who's going to get the treat. I'm just hoping that you are in the UK because otherwise um, it could be a little bit of a problem. So I'm hoping you are. And uh, please get in touch with me as soon as you can, because obviously I want to get the advent calendar part of it out to you before the 1st of December. And I just want to thank everybody who joined in with the comments. It was great fun reading everybody's comments and the different quirky things people say. And I think people enjoyed reading each other's comments as well so it was great fun and um, maybe in the new year I'll think of something else and we can have another giveaway so thank you everyone like I say for getting involved and joining in it was just a spur of the moment thing I fancy just giving someone a little treat um, times can be a bit hard at the moment and it's nice to have a little something fun to look forward to I was just about to edit the video and I realised I didn't show you the yarn or wool that I bought from Wool Warehouse to make my uh, bed blanket. So here it is, oh, huge, huge bag of it, all the different colours and they don't match my curtains but they they are close-ish and hopefully it will look nice when it's done anyway. So I want to do a granny square blanket with all those different colours and the wool is Yarnsmiths Create DK from Wool Warehouse and I bought 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 balls for £31.50. So I've got free post and packaging and you always get one of these nice bags to keep it all nice and clean and I will try very hard not to start that project until I finish all my Christmas makes. Um, I shall put a picture of the type of blanket that I want to make, uh, although it won't be the same colours obviously, and then my curtains and hopefully in the new year I'll have a nice blanket to show you 
probably take me quite a while with lots of squares, but that's a nice project. I quite like crocheting in the winter, especially with blankets as they get bigger and they're on your lap, keep you nice and warm. So that is uh, my only acquisition. And as I say, because I've bought my car, so I am a little bit poor in the savings department, I will be trying not to buy anything else crafty related I'm just going to use the things I've got I have plenty so don't feel sorry for me um, and I will perhaps next year just use the things I've got and see how well I do with that um, perhaps some other people are going to do a no buy I don't know but mm. <sighs> it's nice to have a little bit of savings behind you if you can isn't it but I've got a brand new car well brand new to me car on the drive so can't complain as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I will see you soon with another little video. So, bye for now.